I'm one of a kind, there ain't no one like me So I define it's the real damn <laughs> Sweet. Got a thumbs up from that dude in the Toyota. What's going on, everybody? Back out here on the 501, doing a little moto vlog. Still got the setup on my moto helmet. Um, hopefully, the sound quality uh, is all right. I think I got the whole missing audio thing figured out. Um, hopefully, we'll see. It seems like the first clip always has audio, but after I stop and start, stop and start, it just starts disappearing. So I think I got it figured out now, but uh, hopefully my theory is right and all these clips that I'm about to post will have audio for you guys. But anyway, just uh, cruising through town, trying to get to a little dirt spot. Nothing too crazy, don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to talk to you guys. Just uh, a little catch up video, a little what's going on video. Um, a little bit of what to expect, what's coming up. So anyway, uh, first things first, beginning of August, going up to Mammoth for five days to go do a, a bunch of riding. Bunch of dual sports stuff with uh, with my wife and my old man. Going up there for my father's birthday. Rented a condo. Rented a condo for five days since all the campgrounds are full. We are planning on taking our trailers up there, but last minute campground, everything was full. So, ended up renting a condo. That's su super stoked for that. Never got to ride up there. My dad's only been a couple times. Heard a lot of good things. Hopefully get a lot of good footage. Super stoked on that. But, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's the first thing, the most, the closest thing time-wise to today. And then the next thing is the 24 hour. Sign-ups are open. I haven't signed up yet. I'm planning to. I'm still just debating on whether I'm going with my original plan of Iron Man solo 100% me or if I'm going to put together a little team of people who uh, knew Jade, who cared about Jade because that was the whole reason for me doing it. And as much as it, as much as it's a me thing, it's something I was doing for myself. There's a few people that I wouldn't mind sharing that experience with, sharing that time with, sharing those laps with. So still very much in a little internal battle with myself as to what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll know by the end of the week, I gotta talk to a couple people, see what their thoughts are. Um, so we'll see on that one, but 24 hours is happening. Glenn Helen posted that signups are open and, uh, now I just got to make up my mind. So realistically, that's all I got for that aspect of things. Time to go ride in some dirt. Nothing too exciting. Just a couple dirt roads here. But can't get too crazy. I am just in uh, shoes and shorts and a shirt, total squid mode. But I didn't get to ride all weekend. Needed a couple miles. Like I said earlier, don't have a, a bunch of time. So 
Hopefully I'm not being stupid. I know super dumb. It takes a couple minutes to put gear on. But and I don't know what it is about dual sporting that makes you feel almost invincible, which is horrible because you are so much more vulnerable. It's like I would never think about doing this on my regular bike and a regular like I mean I, I never ride without gear on but there's something about the dual sports that just like ah there's no need to put gear on it's just a little ride so feel kind of stupid but at the same time this dirt feels amazing I love riding motorcycles guys uh, they put a gate there and a shit ton of concrete. Um, fuck. That's where I was going. Ah. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who wanted to do this. Woo. Super sketchy and close. What am I doing? But anyway. That's probably the gnarliest part of this whole thing. Because the rest. Uh, oh. Missed the shift. The rest of this is just pretty mellow but anyway guys I really hope anybody who watches this sticks around for the upcoming events I'm super excited for what's to come um, it's uh, I'm really enjoying this whole project for this year to pass okay I like how there's a this is a legal route fucking sign right there and yet somebody decided to bro walk off the, the entrance to this trail but yeah back to what I was saying hope you guys follow along only a handful of people watch these and most of those are probably my kids re-watching these videos so I really don't know how many people truly watch these but for the hand people like a word vomit for the handful of people that are gonna watch this video I appreciate it I hope you follow along we still have a long way till October for the 24 hour and uh and then after that, I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the channel, because that's where everything started. Ooh, I can't see, right into the sun. That's what this whole channel was started for. It was for me to document things leading up to the 24 hour. And my journey for that, and my little journey for Jade. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see where the channel goes after that. Have some plans, but and honestly, not gonna lie to you guys. A few months ago, uh, not even a few months ago, a few weeks ago, I was really debating whether I was still gonna do the 24 hour or not. I was just not sure if I was up for it, not sure if I could really do it. I haven't been training, haven't been working out at all. Ah, this is so sketchy in just regular clothes. Um, really don't want to drop the bike. So, wasn't sure if I was really up for it. If I had the ability, the mental ability was not there for sure. My, uh, my boys have got into BMX racing and looking at schedules and what races we wanted to take them to. That started to kind of mentally for me that was going to take over a lot of my time a lot of my effort and energy for what I wanted to do oh I want to go up there but not today um, I was going to put a lot of my my time and energy and effort and funds towards that but I had to put myself in check and just really tell myself that this year was for me it was for me for my journey for just my time to do my thing both just for my mental health for my own little 
acceptance for the fact that my buddy is gone little memorial for him tribute for him and uh, I decided I needed to tell myself that as much as I love watching my kids ride and race and I'm looking forward to that but this I need to do this for me I need to do this for me for many reasons and for the rest of the year we're gonna do local stuff but we're not gonna do any of the big stuff that I was planning on doing for the boys race wise because I really need to get back on my game on my training beware of dogs does a paintball field own all this now uh, that's kind of sketchy dude I haven't been up here in so long I really hope there's not a gate that I can't get out. But anyway, really need to do this whole thing for me. That's where it all started from. That's what it's all about. And that's what it's gonna be. And I am now mentally ready, I think. I mean, I'm not. I got a lot of training, a lot of night riding and hours and fitness and health and all that to get back in check. Cause I really have just been slacking for the last two months or so when the whole 10 hour fell through and all that kind of lost my drive but it's back gonna get back into working out back into putting miles on bikes back into getting physically and mentally ready back into ordering parts and spares and lights and all the amount of stuff that I need to do so looking forward to that I'm so pumped on being back in uh, the mental state of wanting to do this. And uh, yeah, so anyway guys, so happy I got to get out and do this little video. Pretty stoked that it was pretty much a one take thing. Um, hopefully the audio actually works. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed if all this uh, was for nothing. But anyway, guys, this just goes back down through some residential. Probably just cruise around on some streets, which is relatively boring. Uh, probably hit a couple wheelies, which if I do that, I'll throw them in at the end of this video. But the rest of this is probably going to be boring. Not that the first part of it was super exciting. But anyway, guys, glad I got all that off my chest. If you're watching this, thank you very much for spending your time to follow me on my journey, or even if this is the first video of your watching of mine, thank you for tuning in. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, guys, I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Do another one? Yeah. Alright. Alright.